friends, it is me, HL Mod Tech, and a user created an awesome dice cup in Tinkercad and then asked how to put words on it. I got a solution, so my friends, let's get cracking. So first things first, the dice cup is a great idea. Bring out a cylinder, and then the big trick that you want to know is Alt-Shift. When you hold Alt-Shift, you can grow it a large amount in a short time. I'm going to make mine 6 centimeters wide, so I'm going to type 60. Notice because I did Alt-Shift, it made them both 60. I'm going to make it 7 centimeters high. I want it to be really, really round, and I also want it to have a bevel of 2. So that way the edge is round. I'm going to do 10 segments, though, so it's more smooth. This is going to be the outside of the shape. We're going to use this same piece by doing Control d Hold Alt Shift again, and let's make it 64. Notice because I did Alt Shift, it changes them all at once, but then I only want this to be 15 high. I like to click and type the numbers, and then also I'm going to make a ring at the top. So I'm going to click on this one, I'm going to do Control D, and then Control Up Arrow to move that to the top, but I'm going to shrink it so it's only five. So it's a ring, and then I'm going to align these. So notice I'm grabbing a rectangle that touches them both, clicking align, clicking the tall piece, and saying I want those to match. So that is my cup. I'm now going to cut it out. Let's take the large one and do Control-D, raise it up a little bit, hold down Alt and Shift, and remember it was 670. Let's take it down to 66, but make it taller, and make it a whole... I want the segments on this one to be five, so it's a little bit different rounding. And now let's use D to drop it to the bottom, but then do control up so it's three millimeters up. So there's control up one, two, three. And when we group that, you've all of a sudden got an amazing little dice cup that you can 3D print. And you can change the measurements to whatever you want, but I think that would be workable. So the question was how to add words. My friends, we're gonna go down and add words under the all shapes. If you scroll to the bottom, you can choose page two and right there, bring out the text ring. Change it to whatever words you want. I'm gonna put HL mod tech. We can quickly click the font option and see which one we think is most cool. So let's add it to our cup real quick. First, I'm just gonna select the two pieces, choose a line, click on the cup, because that's what I want to align it to, do my middle middle, and you can see it doesn't quite fit. Let's make sure we only have the text selected and do that Alt Shift. And if we push it in, we can get it so that it does fit. And then we can use the handle to lift it to where we want it. So we could print it like that, but we could also do Control D and I'm going to raise that up so it's above, and this time I'm going to make it a hole. And now when I select those two and I group it, it cuts the letters in to the shape. So you're using less plastic and you get the same result. Lastly, there's another one we could play with under Featured. It's called Custom Font Text. When you bring this one out, friends, there's also another piece of text we can play with under Featured and it's called custom font text. When you bring it out, it's sweet because it has that diameter. Remember, we made ours 60 around, so that should fit pretty good. I'm gonna put some fun words. I'm gonna just quickly add like, comment, and subscribe, and then I'm gonna make the arc 275 degrees. When I select all the items, I'm gonna do a line, and I'm gonna choose the cup, and I'm gonna choose center that way, center that way, and then I'm going to just click on the purple piece and I'm going to do control up and I'm going to hold that down until it's the height I want. Now, if I want to make sure it's really inset, I'm going to change this to 59 so it comes in a whole millimeter. And then just like before, we could leave it on the outside or we could make it a hole. And when you group it, boom, your amazing dice cup is complete. 
Alrighty friends, so there you have it, a super cool dice cup in just a matter of minutes that you can also 3D print. Thanks Ron for the idea, I think it is a fantastic project. Friends, of course, if you found the video useful, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Montech. Thanks for watching, have a great day.